One of the most common questions we get from our clients who are under OIG investigation is how long is this investigation going to last? Today we're going to talk about the things that make OIG investigations longer or shorter and whether or not there's anything you can do to help speed it up. Welcome to OMG, it's the OIG, a serious look at Office of Inspector General Investigations. My name is Sarah Croft and I'm a lawyer here in Washington, D.C. Our firm helps federal employees and companies who have federal contracts navigate OIG investigations. And if you want to get in touch, all of my contact information is below. All right, let's jump in. So I'll be completely honest. I have no idea how long your OIG investigation is going to last. We have had clients whose OIG investigations last just a few months. Those are short ones. And we've had clients whose OIG investigations last several years. They can go on for any period of time. But let's talk a little bit about what makes an OIG investigation longer or shorter, because at least then you can get some sense of how long yours might last. So the first factor that affects the length of an OIG investigation is basically how complex the issues are. So some OIG investigations are pretty simple. Things like time and attendance, whether or not you showed up for work, the number of hours you say you worked, is a fairly simple OIG investigation, and that will go more quickly. If it's a complex procurement fraud case involving multiple contractors, subcontractors, that is much more complex and it's going to last much longer. The second factor that affects how long an OIG investigation will last is how many documents there are. So the OIG agents will collect documents from your computers. They can basically subpoena documents from third parties, such as banks or other companies, and they're going to gather all their, those documents. Now, they have to review all those documents as well. So if there are a lot of documents, it's going to take them longer. And if there are not as many documents, it's going to be a quicker investigation. Something else that affects this is how cooperative these third parties are with producing documents. If they object to the subpoena, this can take longer and make your investigation longer as well. The third factor that affects the length of an OIG investigation is how many people are involved, because the OIG will need to interview or try to interview everyone who witnessed what happened. So something simple where it's just your conduct at stake, then it may only involve a couple of interviews and that will make the investigation shorter. But again, if it's a complex case with lots of companies or lots of people who witnessed something or witnessed a pattern of conduct, the OIG agent is going to have to track them down, get their interviews scheduled, conduct those interviews and so forth. So that will take longer. And the fourth factor is how busy the OIG agent is. So if the OIG agent is extremely busy, it may take him a while to get to your case, even if it's a simple one. And if the OIG agent is less busy, then he may be able to focus on your case. It may happen a little faster. Now let's talk a little bit about whether or not there's anything you can do to make an OIG investigation go faster, because all of our clients want it to finish sooner rather than later. And the short answer is no. There really is not much you can do to make an investigation move more quickly. So there's no statute of limitations for an OIG investigation, unlike in a criminal case. And you can't go to a court to force the investigation to finish or to happen any faster. Some OIGs have internal deadlines that they try to meet, as far as how long a case should last from beginning to end. But those aren't binding, and certainly they can get an extension of time if they need it. And there's nothing uh, you can do as the target of an investigation to force the agent to follow an internal deadline, even if you know what the deadline is. What we have found works best for our clients is to have uh, us as their lawyers act as kind of a polite squeaky wheel, meaning that we will check in uh, frequently or at least consistently with the agent, uh, maybe every few weeks, depending on the investigation, uh, to make sure that the agent is working on the case. And we found that just checking in, trying to keep the agent accountable, having him know that we're going to check in with them can be very helpful. All right, I hope this information was helpful. Uh, if you want to read more about OIG investigations in the notes below, we have a link to our blog, which has a lot of posts about OIG investigations and criminal investigations, as well as a link to our ebook all about OIG investigations. Thanks very much.